Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Keely Talks. I've got Gary here with me and Scratch. Yeah, um, we're boy. doing Simba. We're not done one for a while, but we're doing a mindfulness video today. I know it's been <laughs> ages since we've done it, but we're doing it today. And if you've not seen the other mindfulness videos, make sure you check them out in the playlist that they're all connected to here. Scratchy boy. Scratchy boy. <laughs> oh, he feels me. See that? He's looking. Oh, see? Now he's gone. Get him off me, Mom. <laughs> okay, so there's an activity in this um, today, what me and Gabby are basically recording we won't be able to see it on the video but you can do it in your own time really you just not my mic over cat <laughs> anyway today the letter is w for is for walk will you stop it kitty ah <laughs> so cute. So <laughs> and people say cats are not loving. <laughs> He's so sweet. Hey, Mum, I want attention. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, <clears throat> so, let me read this to you. It says... The simple act of walking can become a mindful activity. You can focus on the rhythm of your footsteps, on the sound of your breathing, on the feeling inside of your chest. Observe your leg and buttock muscles working. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and your arms swinging. Notice how your feet connect with the ground. Zone in on sight, sounds and smells. Open your awareness to everything around you. If you can hear banging or purring, it's this little dude here. Because he's right, the mic is right here. And he keeps her butt in it. Can you hear him purring? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Cat purrs are supposed to be like healing you know oh he keeps <laughs> he keeps cuddling me <laughs> so cute okay <laughs> so then it gives it, it gives you an activity you can do <laughs> called a sensory marker He's just taking over the video, isn't he? Mm -hmm. It's the Scratchy Show. Can you hear him? Oh, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> the ask, it, it, it gives you the um, instructions on how to do a sensory work, which says... Go outside, perhaps you'll get to your garden if you have one, oh. or to an area of parkland or woodland. All right, see you. He's going to miss what I need to say now. <clears throat> Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. I thought that was the activity. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> Make sure there is nothing sharp on the ground. And then take your shoes and socks off and feel the world through your feet. Observe how much sensory information you are able to take in from your feet alone. How does the surface, surface feel? Is it hard, soft, slippery, gritty? Is it even or uneven, warm or cold? Really, Cap? Do you normally notice these things when you are wearing shoes? 
observe the light, shade and colors around you. Close your eyes. What do you notice now? Making sure there are no branches or obstacles at a head height, take a few steps. Reach out and touch a tree or a wall or reach down and touch the grass, gravel or paving. How does it feel? Now notice sounds and smells. Do these senses heighten you? Are you aware of anything you weren't aware of before? For sighted people, sight tends to be your, our sight tends to be to dominate our senses. Closing your eyes allows you to sense of touch, sound, and smell to amplify. Just having fun watching Scratch. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, my, my cardigan's itching my shoulder. Okay. So before we get to the activity, I'm going to read you a quote out of my book, which Scratch is using as a pillow. Garth. which is this one, Dare to Dream. I can put a link to this in the description as well. <laughs> but basically, this book is just full of quotes, and it's really good just yeah. to open them up daily. There's some really nice quotes in there. Too. So this is the first one Gary can read it. Freedom lies in being bold. That's by Robert Frost. And this is the next one. A year from now, you may wish you had started today. <laughs> That's by Karen Lamb. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that you want to do, do it now. Do it now. Okay. Right. For this activity, you need a pen and a piece of paper. Unless you have the book itself, then you can do it in the page provided. But if you don't, you can do this activity with us, with just a piece of paper and a pen or pencil or whatever. It doesn't matter. Or crayon, it doesn't matter, really. Okay. <clears throat> it says, without a conscious plan, pick up a pencil or a pen and do a simple squiggle. A simple squiggle. And now it says, then continue the doodle from one end of your line. Let your hand move freely. Finally, join up with the starting point of your squiggle. So you have a continuous line, sing, a singular continuous line that you can follow with your finger. So you have to connect them? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now it says, put down your pen and study your deed, uh, study your doodle. <laughs> Does anything start to take shape out of it? A dragon, a fish, an eye. Fill in some areas between the lines and see if your squiggle becomes something else. I'm trying to see. 
That could man be. That's such a weird ass shape. <laughs> Mine too. Right, now it says A farmless doodle is as valid as anything else. The point is to allow yourself the freedom to make a mark on the page and explore what happens. Avoid judging or criticising your doodle, which I just did. To mine. Just experience the freedom of creation without any rules or any expectations. Oh, I don't know what mine is now. Hmm. What'd you get? I think it's a rose. Mm, yeah. Can you see? Mm hmm. Yeah, I like that. You know what mine turned into? It's got love out on it there. What? <laughs> oh, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mine looks like a dancing alien moose. <laughs> He's kicking his leg up. <laughs> Let me see. That's the bottom of his foot. That's so funny. <laughs> it's like doing this. Nobody's <laughs> happy. Okay. This is what the quote says in the book for today. Just observe the reality of the present moment, whatever it may be. Yeah. Happy dancing alien moose. And a rose with a lover in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it actually looks like a rose to you or not. Yeah, I see it. I see the love heart too, it's right near the top. Up here. And there's like another love out here. Yeah. Going sideways. One of the And then this bit here looks like a hot dog sausage. <laughs> and this bit here looks like a broken infinity symbol. Uh, I still like my dancing moose. Oh yeah, that's cool. And it's an alien moose. Yeah. Okay. And this is the other quote in here. Release, restore, rebalance. And that is all, all there is for the um for for that part like the next one is x like we're nearly finished x y z and then we'll be starting our new series which is learning tarot with us mm -hmm. can't wait yes is there anything that you would add to that like I, regarding the walking i found it many times like obviously in the uk especially we tend to do a lot of walking and mm -hmm. like when I'm on my own and walking somewhere, I find it so relaxing and revitalizing and re-energizing, even though you might be using energy to walk, it's it actually like, it's a sense of freedom and to be able to think clearly and be around nature and be out of the four walls, especially with everything that's been going on over the last 18 months or so. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Um, it's nice to just get out and walk, you know. And that activity regarding the garden, I'm definitely going to be doing personally. Um, I actually do that every day <laughs> uh, for my job. But, you know, I, I do do that, though. I do find it, like, kind of therapeutic sometimes when I'm doing my rounds. And... Um, there was actually one time I was listening to like uh, mu music that they use for Reiki healing. Yeah. And it was very calming, very soothing. And I was just, you know, I was listening to the sounds of my steps. You know, but it's, it does work. It does work. Being out and walking, even though, you know, sometimes when I get home, my calves are sore as hell and I'm spent, but <laughs> it's still, yeah. you know, it is, it is healing kind of as well. Yeah. And it's good. It's good for him um, to be able to keep their muscles moving, especially like for someone like me, me personally, who has a chronic pain condition. Mm. Um, when you stop doing simple things like walking, it can really affect you in a poor way where it can make you seize up and be in all sorts of pain, mm -hmm. which then causes depression and all sorts of stuff. But being able to take advantage of walking, because like the simple thing of being able to walk into some people with disabilities or chronic pain conditions is such a hard task and it isn't something to be taken for granted it's definitely something to embrace and use that as a mindful activity if you're able to and of course if you if you are disabled you can use aids to get out which is wheelchairs or walking sticks or scooters or whatever you use in the frame or whatever to just get out and enjoy being in the air and nature. This task, I don't want it to be um, discriminating to anybody. Mm -hmm. It's got to be able to be inclusive. And of course, the word is walking. But if you're not, on, if you're unable to physically walk, just get out and enjoy that air anyway. Yeah. You know, go and find a tree to touch or, or hold a flower or something just to embrace nature and be around nature. Indeed. You know, and being in the sun is good too because, you know, the sun is it's energizing. But I also love it when it starts to rain. But that's just. I love the rain. Being out in the rain. Mm hmm. Something soothing about that. It's like cleansing. Yeah. Okay, should we leave it? Uh, is there anything else you want to add? Hmm? No. It's a, Just uh, thank you guys for coming through and watching, and hopefully this gave you something to think about, something to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. And and this little scratchy boy over here, that's probably the cutest thing about this whole thing. Yes. <laughs> Look at your nose. If you're new... Hey, Talk please subscribe. Me. You see him, he keeps like <laughs> tucking his head in. If you're new here, please subscribe. And of course, Gary's channel is in the description down below. Make sure you subscribe to his channel too. And hopefully, we'll get this series finished very soon. Hopefully, we'll mm -hmm. find the time. Okay, thank <laughs> you all for coming, guys. Till I now. Till I Can't do it.